Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're going to be figuring out whether or not we can use different solar panel brands with a ZAMP solar plug. On a lot of our travel trailers and RVs that we pick up, um, if they're newer, they might have a ZAMP solar plug on them and we're going to talk about what exactly that means and whether or not you can use different uh, brand panels on that plug. And uh, the short answer is yes, you absolutely can. Um, Basically what it boils down to is whether or not the polarity of the wires is the same as the panel that you have. Um, Zamp's orientation of their plug is slightly different than other manufacturers. Um, when I actually spoke with Zamp, they said they basically did this to cover the positive lead in material so that it's a female plug and if it touches something metal, it's not going to short out so it's kind of a safety feature, um, which means the exposed metal pin is their negative uh, on their plugs and solar panels in, in a lot of cases. Um, now basically, I'm going to talk about what the ZAMP solar plug is. It looks like this. If you have it on your RV, it's probably going to look something like this with a ZAMP solar sticker on it. This is usually just a set of wires that's going to run to your battery bank that is wired into the RV. Um, these typically do not have a charge controller built into the system. So this is basically just wiring that goes to your battery bank and you cannot hook up just a normal a solar panel without a charge controller because it'll keep charging your battery till it's full and then keep charging it and do damage. Um, so you do need a solar kit with a charge controller in most cases. You'll have to check out your manual to figure that one out for sure. But basically the only thing that you have to do in order to hook up absolutely any solar panel that you want that's within the maximum voltage tolerances of your plug, um, you need to have a voltmeter, a really cheap $10 voltmeter, and you can actually just touch these leads uh, to you know, use the red lead as your positive on your uh, multimeter, and touch that to the two terminals. If you see a negative sign in front of the voltage, that means you have, the, you have them reversed. So switch your leads, switch your red one to the other uh, plug, and then if you have a number with no negative sign, it's just the number, that means that's the correct polarity and red is your positive and now you can check your solar panel by doing the exact same thing. Uh, basically open it up, put it in the sun, and then use your voltmeter to check those. If you see a negative um, and you have your red test lead hooked up, switch it, and if you don't have a negative, there's where your positive is. And now you know which, which plug needs to go into which connection on your RV. And all you're really gonna need to do if they don't match up correctly is get a little adapter uh, just like this one, and it basically just switches those plugs over and you're good to go. Um, just make sure you have a charge controller and your, um, your solar panel kit is under what the maximum voltage or wattage tolerances of that plug can handle. And those may differ from unit to unit, so I'm not gonna say what yours might be. You just have to look on your manual. It might say on the sticker. Um, but that's all you have to do. It's just a really simple adapter and either you need it or you don't. And now you can use absolutely any solar kit that you want with a charge controller on that external ZAMP plug on your RV, which is great because I get that question a lot. They think you can only use a ZAMP uh, solar panel with that. And um, while that might be the easiest way to go, and I have a ZAMP solar kit, 120 model kit, they are well built and I actually really like mine a lot. Um, so I, I love a ZAMP panel, but if you already have a different kit, all you need to do is check the polarity and either you'll need that little switcheroo plug or you won't. I will put a link in the description below that'll take you hopefully to that link uh, that has the uh, little switch plugs uh, with that connector type and that should help you out. So if that helped you out, please like, share, subscribe. That really helps me out. And until the next video, my name is Jim with Fulman Adventure Club. Thanks so much for watching and happy camping.